Om Shanti. Welcome to the Ayurveda class. Today we're gonna start the session with the three time Om along with Shanti. Come into your asan. Keep your back neck straight aligned. Gently close your eyes. Go into your posture. Correct your alignment. Once you are corrected, move your attention towards your natural breath. The breath which is going in and coming out. Just observe for a few seconds. Now, take a deep, prolong, slow inhalation, deep, prolong, slow exhalation. Inhale and exhale with awareness. Now inhale for the Om. Feel the vibration and sensation. Join your palm. Wrap your palm. Place on your eyes. Very slowly while blinking, looking at your palm. Gently. Open up your eyes with a great smile and say Om Shanti. Om Shanti. <coughs> so, till now we discuss about uh, in the Midaha that how one should, you know, take the meal, uh, one should chew properly. Now we're going to discuss about the other aspect of the Mitahar. We discuss portion of the meal, how much one should take and how to eat and the posture of eating. It should be sitting into the Vajrasana, Sukhasana and these two posture considered to be a best posture for eating, sitting on the ground. We discuss these things. Now we're going to talk about how to prepare the meal. That's also play a very important role. We discuss about Sattvic, Rajasik and Tamsik. Preparation also change the, it can make the Sattvic food Rajasik or Tamsik as well. So you're choosing the right uh, food sat, which have the Sattu quality, but you don't know how to cook. 
you don't know how to prepare your meal right your food then it you convert the sattvic um, food into the tamasic so very much important these rules should be implemented on everybody right first utensil for choosing the right utensil for cooking cooking best utensils are which is made of the clay pot clay pot the mud and that the traditional way all the countries all the religion they in ancient you know time they used the clay pot for cooking and that is the best way for cooking on the slow flame and using the clay pot um, with the open lid half closed half open lid and the food which come into the contact with the sunlight or the air that preserve the nutrition in that so very much important that you should choose the right utensil first clay pot okay second iron pot you can use casting iron or iron pot material you can use 80% you can preserve the nutrition uh, of the food if you are using and increasing the iron in the food as well so those who are anemic those who are having uh, less red blood cells they should eat even in the iron pot and cook in the iron pot and immediately you should cook um, eat it don't store the food in the iron pot you can store the food in the uh, clay pot but iron pot is not suitable for storing the meal okay but for cooking it is the best good utensil then these two material if you don't get but it's both material available in the market buy these thing change the utensil uh, of your kitchen okay these are the most important thing um and brass you also use for cooking okay brass which is mixture of the zinc and the copper uh, and uh, these three you can bring uh, you can bring into your kitchen and utilize it <clears throat> milk also also should boil in the casting iron pot it increase the iron in the milk as well it increase the quality of the milk if you get again at level happy cow milk local happy cow milk then otherwise become a vegan don't take the milk packet milk not at all so <clears throat> these are the three best utensil okay um these are the utensil but now it's become less popular but these are available in the market so you can utilize it okay uh then completely avoid cooking the meals in aluminium and nonstick ware which have the teflon coating or the other material modern material don't use for cooking these are increasing the toxin uh, in the it going to increase the toxin and mix with your food and you are consuming it and it make you sick slow level it's not like instantly you're going to die it's like slow level you are uh, getting the toxin ama you are giving from through your way of cooking if you cooking not you are not using the right utensil the toxin released by the material toxin released by the uh, the pan the nonstick pan and the aluminium it going to mix in your food and you consuming it it give you autoimmune diseases a mental disorder and other you know physical disorder you will get and even people doesn't get any idea about it how they are getting even doctor doesn't have the clue because people are not bringing the change in their choosing the right utensil okay so this is the, this could be a main reason, uh, cause that why you are getting the sickness why your tri dosha and agni is imbalance so correct this one okay then storing the food you can use the glassware uh, glass uh, utensil you can use to store the water to store the uh, your meal but uh, make sure freshly you have to cook and freshly you have to eat okay don't preserve 
don't store in the fridge then that sattvic food become tamasic if you storing your food in the fridge and using after 3 hour or 4 hour freshly you cooked freshly you have to eat it's it means you are then sattva gun would be increase in your body otherwise after 3 hours food start deteriorating it's big start rotting and then toxin uh, would be released <coughs> so these thing you have to take care of it then uh, other things um, the utensil you have chosen the right flame you have to use it low flame sh- and when you are cooking make sure you are not covering your um, completely not covering so don't use pressure cooker completely avoid cooking in the pressure cooker the procedure itself anything which is um, fragmented or uh, take longer period of time for cooking that is that food become tamasic so longer period of time you are cooking it means you are um, making com- you are converting the simplest fo- food to the complex one and then your body it's difficult for your body to digest to break to assimilate that meal so make sure you correct that thing okay so easy digestible meal low flame cooking right and always use the fire for cooking fire play very important role so electric oven electric electricity which you are using for cooking is not good throw it them out it make your um, vegetables and on uh, the meal dry pranic energy it gonna lose and when pranic energy gonna lose it become tamasic again so anything which is related with the electric uh, equipment with electricity uh, don't don't use much use the fire traditional way we use the wood fire and the cow dung for using the fire and coal is the best method for cooking if you don't get chance um, gas um, the stoves are available gas are available methane ga- gas cooking gas you can use it so use the fire at least best way the wood fire that also bring the enhance the taste and nourishment to the food and if you had uh, you know when you go for the pizza and they use the wood fire for making the pizza the taste of the pizza is completely different uh, when you are having the electric oven pizza because the fire that actual fire enhance the taste and the quality so these things you have to uh make sure you are implementing when you are cooking okay <coughs> then intention again uh, intention play very important role uh, especially when we are talking about the sattvic meal sattvic food if you have wrong like uh, you are angry you are disturbed you are sad you are in depression and you are cooking you are entering into the kitchen food also you know change its property the emotions you know catch by the vegetables catch by the fruits and the greens that's why when your mom is happy you know mother f- meal which cooked by your mother it's very delicious because she always cook with lots of love with lots of ac- affection and compassion and that's that love in degree is very much important for increasing the quality of the meal or food sat with that guna you know pacify your hunger it gonna give you more energy but if person is disturbed angry frustrated and you are taking the meal from that person then it gonna disturb your energy it gonna you feel like why i am agitated why i am disturbed when you go to the restaurant and you are enjoying you go went for the date but uh, some by ha- 
while having your meal you end up with the fighting with your partner because in the back end the chef is cooking the meal with lots of stress this is this you know modern scenario fast cooking instant cooking and lots of pressure those emotion go into the meal and then it's go lead to it's go to you and you paying very expensive you are buying that meal and paying for the stress anger frustration to the that restaurant so when you are eating out make sure uh, you can see the mood of the chef who is cooking who is preparing he should be happy and the street food is very good like uh, good in the sense like i know on hygiene i'm very hygiene person so whenever i go for eating i make sure that those restaurant i choose which is not very crowded which is not having so much stress and they take time for cooking instantly not giving you food so chef get the sufficient time prepare the food with lots of happiness <laughs> and uh, the love in the greens they can put but yes not like mother but at least these things whenever you eat outside just make sure uh, you get you choose you 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 get the choice between the stress level of the restaurant and the local vendors who are happily connect with you talking to you and they have good and they love to offer you the food so you can choose accordingly that's also going to affect so the food quality is also related with the emotion how you preparing your meal so these expect you have to very much important don't skip these things doesn't mat- matter you choose the right one and uh, why it is important right now because we our body energy we are very sensitive right now but for yogi is different yogi can take any kind of meal even people who are angry disturbed they offer the meal to the yogi the energy of the meal going to change because the yogi energy is so vast so vast so it can change it can you know it can persuade any anything around her it going to change your energy your whatever food they are consuming it going to change that energy as well but for us we cannot <coughs> we cannot change it we are so sensitive now towards these things so we have to focus on the outside environment first either you can bring the completely transformation within you so you can persuade every energy around you or you can try to take the precaution two option you are having okay so <clears throat> now no each and every uh, one should uh, how much when to eat the food actually how much we eat how to prepare which utensil we have to use we talked about it now how much when to eat so when to eat this question there is a um, very important role played by the sun s u n sun sun play very important role for the timing to decide that Uh, you know when what is the perfect time of eating so <coughs> and it is implemented by ev- everyone everyone should follow this thing food according to the position of the sun food according to the position of the sun divided into the three part low sun l o w low sun s u n low sun then high sun h i g h high sun s u n high sun then no sun n o s u n no sun these three division according to that one should consume the meal and sun 
is basically related with your hunger, your appetite, your jathiragni. That's why Buddhism, Jainism, Hinduism, and even Christian, uh, I don't have much information what Christ talked about on the diet, but especially in the Muslim people also follow the position of, according to the position of the sun, they eat. Buddhism, after 12 noon, they don't eat. Jainism, after sunset, they don't eat. Same rule regulation we can apply to the position of the sun. Sun directly connected to your Jatharagni. When sun set, your Jatharagni go down. When sun is rising, your Jatharagni gonna rise. Your digestive fire gonna increase. So Jatharagni digestive fire, which uh, assimilate, absorb the nutrition, which give you the hunger. So according to that, so when low sun we are talking about, low sun it means when sun beam is low, when sun is rising and little bit soothing sunlight is on in the environment. So that is the time of the breakfast and this is the time this is the time when one should give the meal to their brain. This time you should eat those things which is good for your brain. What is a good for your brain? Nuts, fruits, porridges, okay, which is having the good protein, good carbs. In India we have varieties of the um, of breakfast, dosa, and then we can have the idli, okay, then utpam, then parathas, uh, poha, many types of porridge. In European countries, they don't have much option. So three things you have to completely exclude in your diet, bread, white flour, Anything, the procedure of making the bread is tamasic. So don't take the bread during the morning time. Bread and toast, no, completely no. You can have the soaked walnut, nuts, all kind of nuts, uh, dry fruits, fruits, okay, and porridges, sweet and the salty porridges, you can go with it. Oats. Wheat porridge, oats porridge, these things you can have. Vegetable porridge, you can go with it. Okay, and rice, black rice and uh, brown rice you can take even um, during your breakfast time. Then yogurt is very good if you take the empty stomach, but if you are not vegan. If you are vegan, you, you can make the yogurt from almond milk, cashew nut milk or um, soya milk okay but again the homemade don't buy the milk from the market they use the preservative and tetra packing for that this procedure make those milk tamsik okay so um, so these things you have to take care breakfast time uh, start your day and make sure when you wake up Breakfast should be taken after waking time within a two hour, two to two and a three hour between you have to give the breakfast. Never ever skip the breakfast. Okay, never ever. Don't do the mistake. So breakfast, everybody should consume it. According one one time you can have yogurt, empty stomach, you can have fruits soaked nuts and other things okay which i have given you the list if you are in india you have varieties of the meal so you can take anything but not fried don't give fried things white flour pancake these things no bread no 
okay bread and butter bread and jam no don't give these things so the freshly healthy vegetables porridge soup these things you can take now lunch is a high sun time this is the time when you should give the food to your body so we you can have the full meal full meal like which include the chapatis rice then uh, papad then two curries and one pulse this big whole meal you can take because this time noon is on the uh, sun is on the top and it's increase your jathadagni and this time you can take uh, the good uh, you can increase uh, the carbs in your diet okay and you can take the solid protein also the protein which is not easy digestible like uh, chickpea chickpea proteins are very difficult any uh, pulses which is heavy in digestion kidney beans you can take during the noon time which is heavy in digestion okay light digestion you can take the morning time heavy digestion uh, anything which is take time more time you can take bring into the you can keep those things into the noon time lunch time and uh, lunch time try to have varieties of the mini vegetables and pulses okay and salad you can go but if you're taking the salad don't mix with the meal so you can take the salad first and then later on take uh, have your meal your lunch but don't mix cooked and uncooked together okay so cooked separately uncooked separately so when you are eating uncooked one anything anything uncooked one you are eating like fruits if you are eating uh, in the morning time and with the porridge porridge is cooked one so fruits should be first taken and then give the break 30 minutes 40 minutes and then you can have the porridge same with the salad you can start your meal during the lunch time have the salad first and then you can have your lunch and give the time little bit time 30 minutes or 40 minutes minimum 30 minutes give the break okay so this thing and um, i know we, ins- we not instantly we start changing our diet so do one thing if you want to have all the you know the cheat day uh, cheat day is like we want to try the brownies white flour things cake pastry pasta pizza which is not nutrition at all that time you can bring you can eat during the lunch time okay so at least less harmful effect you will get because sun gonna help you to digest clear now the no sun no f- meal actually this is the perfect rule no sun no meal but uh, we have the habit of eating during the dinner time most of the people they take they make the heavy dinner right so dinner time uh, what you can take milk is good any form of the milk you can take it best cow a to level happy local a to level cow milk you should take it but if you don't get the local milk local cow milk the happy again i'm saying it's not that people are exploiting the cow and then you are getting the milk the stress hormones released by the cow it going to mix into your milk and then it's bring the hormonal imbalance in you so make sure cow should should be happy okay so if you get that milk that's okay get or otherwise get your own cow the cow milk is very very effective or the goat milk you can take it it's very easy digestible and if you are following the vegan diet then you can take uh, the almond milk cashew nut milk don't take the oats milk and the soya milk or coconut milk before sleep okay 
that you can use in the morning time but noon time um, um, during the dinner time you can take the milk and it fill your belly also and give you the nourishment as well boil it add the pinch of the dry uh, how you going to take it uh, you can add the pinch of the dry ginger powder into it little bit pinch of the black pepper and turmeric okay these things you can add into your milk boil it have with the natural sugar if you are not fond of the milk you can take the soup vegetable soup not the market one okay freshly homemade soup you can go for it steamed salad you can take it which easy easy meal so during the dinner time light meal very light if you can what if you want to you are doing the intermittent fasting or if you give the time to your body 18 hours of the fasting then if you want to skip any meal it has to be a dinner okay skip the dinner these two meal breakfast never skip lunch and dinner you have the option best is the dinner if you still cannot like oh i cannot skip the dinner so skip the lunch if you are um, go with the two meal okay best is skip the dinner now question is like some students ask uh, if there is no sun what we can do about it because some people live in th- that kind of area south pole or these areas where uh, near close to the uh, very cold environment there is no sun in that time you can go with the light if light is visible like if there is no sun but still there is a light in the environment according to that you can evaluate you can calculate and according to that you can have if still you feel like okay i cannot follow it so go listen to your body when you are hungry go with it okay when you feel hungry then eat otherwise don't eat and that time you have to apply another rule that when you are going for sleep make sure 3 hours you take your dinner 3 hours there should be a 3 to 4 hours gap do not go for sleep with full belly or half belly your belly should be empty okay so then you can fo- follow this routine the people who are working night um like working in call center or they are flight attendant or these uh, these jobs they are doing then follow this rule you are hungry eat and then when you are going for sleep make sure 3 and 4 hours you should give the break okay dinner before 3 and 4 hours sleep so this is the rules and regulation food according to the position of the sun and then if you cannot follow the position of the sun this rules then utensils these utensils and the cooking then these rules and regulation bring uh, it gonna bring the balance in your agni slowly and gradually you're gonna feel the transformation now meal become the, all the meals whatever you're taking is giving full nourishment full nutrition okay so these rules and regulation implemented in your life and see the transformation and this implemented by everyone i have given you many different different option you can go with any option and you can see the transformation and you f- literally actually you are coming from whatever problems and diseases you are having you you're going to see that you are curing slowly eventually so till here we're going to end the session with chanting om and shanti <clears throat> go into your posture gently close your eyes 
take a deep prolonged breath now inhale for the om Feel the vibration and sensation. Join the both thumb. Please run your eyes. Feel it slowly while blinking, looking at you. Palm. Gently open up your eyes. Both thumb. Say Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti.